Hello guys, welcome to the channel. I hope you all are fine and doing great. Today we are going to discuss this longest path in a matrix program of GLG. So let's move on to the problem guys. Uh, so guys, here we are given a 2D matrix of size R into C, uh, N into M you can say. Okay, and we have to find out the maximum length of a path whose cell are always in strictly increasing order. Okay, like in this given matrix, this can be applied. This can be like this is the metric then we can start from one okay we can start from any other uh, cell as well so what is this path look like from one we can go to two two is greater than one now we can go to three we can go to nine we can uh, yes this we cannot go to one because from two we cannot go to one because uh, two one is less than two and we want a uh, uh, strictly increasing path okay guys so we will choose three okay so according to the which is our perfect answer from 3 we can go 5 8 or 6 now we will go 6 then 7 8 9 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 this is the path we got as as our answer so we have to find out what is the maximum length path the maximum path is start from 6 is uh, start from 4 is start from 4 is now uh, 1 2 if it goes upward then it is 1 2 because 5 we cannot go anywhere not 1 not 3 not 4 and there is no there is not any element present at uh, left hand side so from 4 if we go 5 then length is equal to 2 if you go to 6 then 7 then 8 then 9 then length is equal to 5 so if we start from 4 then we have to answer 105 so we will choose 5 okay this is how we have to proceed so we have to find out the maximum length pi in our matrix that can be possible okay guys similarly here it is 3 4 5 6 so okay so guys how we will do it so let's move on to the problem so guys, what we will do what we will do we will start from 0 to 0 and turn a loop from 0 0 then check this then this then this means turn a loop for all element and and from 1 we will try to find out all the possible path from 1 we will try to find out all the possible path like from 1 we go to 2 we go to 5 okay then we go to 5 then from 2 we go to 3 we go to 9 and from 9 we cannot go anywhere so 9 it will return 1 so 2 will return 3 means maximum length part is 1 2 3 okay now one path is completed one path is completed this path is completed now from 2 it will go to 3 now from 3 it go to 4 it go to 6 it go to 8 now from 6 we can go to uh, now first of all we will complete this path from 8 it will go to 9 so we will erase uh, 1 2 3 and this 4 means means we got length 5 we got length 5 so we will erase 3 and put 5 5 5 from 1 we will go to 2 then 3 then 8 then 9 so 1 2 3 4 5 this is how we will check for each path now from 3 we go to 5 then our path is completed we will return 4 but we have already 5 so we will not update it so this path complete now from 3 we come to 6 then 7 then 8 then 9 then we go to other updated part we will update 5 as 7 okay now this path is also complete now similarly we will start from 2 and from 2 we will check for each po each possible path okay i am erasing all of this so it will be more comfortable okay now similarly from 1 we got our answer first of all 3 then uh, first of all 2 1 and 5 1 and 5 2 then we will go to 3 1 2 9 then from 3 we will go to 1 2 3 4 5 5 then after 5 we will go to 7 first part path number uh, path number second of length 3 path number third of length 5 final path of answer 7 okay these four paths okay so how what path we will do we will do this path of length 7 okay this is how our answer will 7 so for 1 we have path of length 7 now we start from 2 now from 2 we cannot go to 1 we can go to 9 now from uh, path length is maximum 2 uh, or we can go to 3 so from 3 we can go to so maximum length is 6 so our fine for 2 our answer will be is equal to 6 now from 6 and 7 we have maximum 7 so our final answer will remain 7 now similarly from 9, 8, uh, 5, 3, then 8, then 4, then 6, then 7, we will try each and each. But here you can see we will go TLE because there are lot of paths possible from a particular side. Okay. And as well you can see from 1, from 1 when we are starting our traversing we go to 2. 
so means we already know the maximum length of a path we got from 2 because we are updating our 1 as well because 7 5 and 3 we got from 2 1 to 9 1 to 3 at 9 1 to 3 6 7 9 so what we will do what we will do when we are coming at 2 we will see if we have traversed this 2 already or not we will traverse this uh, this 0 comma 1 element the 0 comma 1 element already or no we will see yes we have already because we have already updated this now we will come 9 we already updated already 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 now this is the element which remains now we will start a path from 9 means these or element we have already created now from 4 we go to 5 we go to 6 now from 6 7 9 okay we will find the maximum of 4 so what i want to say if once i traverse an element i know what is the maximum length of a path we can go a uh, maximum length of a path we can traverse from a particular i comma jth element then we will not traverse it again but we will memorize it in a dp in a dp in a dp okay of m comma m size initialized with minus n it will store the maximum length of a path starting from a, a i comma jth element okay so how we will do it so guys how we will do it from one from one so i am making it because this is not that much hard just we need to understand the approach from one we can go to 2, we can go to 5, we can go to 2, we can go to 5. Suppose we are going f uh, 5 first. Suppose for a minute we are going 5 first. So, and we are updating a tree, uh, we are updating dp here as well. Okay, we are updating dp as well. So, I am making other variable as well, other dp table. This is my dp table. Initially, contain minus 1 in all the Initially contain minus one in all the cells. Okay, guys. These are indexing zero, one, two. Initially, this is my DP contain minus one in all the cells. Okay, in all the cells, it becomes minus one. I am not writing it because I need to erase minus one. Okay. Now from one, we are starting from one. Now from one, we can go to two and five. Now from two, we can go to three, nine, three and nine. Okay, because upper level does not exist, we cannot go to one. Now we can go to 5 and we can go to 3. Now from 5 we cannot go to 3, we cannot go to 4, we cannot go to 1 and other element does not exist. So means from 5 we has completed, from 5 we has completed and the maximum length from 5 is we got is 1. Why 1? Because only the 5 element, only that this element means only 5 is the only element which we go from 5. Okay, this is the only element. So we return to from here from 5 we can get length of max uh, the path of length 1 ok now we will continue from 3 now from 3 now from 3 we go to 5 we go to 8 we go to 6 now from 3 we go to 5 we go to 6 we go to 8 now we will check for 5 we have already 1 so it will return 1 it will not check whether we can go anywhere or not it will just return 1 because it will look at dp table okay we are checking 5 already here means we cannot go there maximum length is 5 uh, is 1 possible now this path completed this path is completed now from 6 from 6 where we will from 6 where we will go we cannot go 3 uh, 3 4 this element cannot exist so we can only go to 7 we can only go to 7 now from 7 now from 7 we can not go 6 we can go 8 we can go to 8 uh, from 7 we can go to 8 from 7 we can go to 8 now from 8 we cannot go to uh, from 7 we cannot go to 6 uh, okay 12 and so now we are at 8 from 8 we cannot go to 3 we cannot go to 7 this element does, does not exist so we can go to 9 so we can go to 9 now from 9 we cannot go to 2 we cannot go to 8 we cannot to go these two element does not exist these two element okay and we cannot go to 2 or 8 because these are smaller element so so guys from 9 uh, and here cycle will not exist means if i am uh, coming from this element to this element then we cannot come here uh, back because if i am saying from this element when i am go to this then i am saying this element is bigger than previous element okay when i go in next move then this element always be smaller so i cannot make it in a cycle okay because i cannot reverse back because i know the previous element is always the smallest element and i want the next maximum element so from 9 i cannot go anywhere so 9 will return 1 means from me the maximum length you can traverse is 1 means the only one element so we'll update our 9 as 1 now 
from one eight I cannot go anywhere else. So from eight I will check the maximum length from eight. It will go. Yeah, from eight we can traverse is one is one plus or what you can say. What you can say after nine nine will check. It has zero more element. It has path of length zero from which it can traverse now. So nine will say including me. You have only one length. Okay, including me, you have only one length. Now eight will say, I have. Now it will return one means maximum one length you can traverse. Now eight will say, I have one more length to traverse. I have one more length to traverse. So including me, including me, you have one plus one length means total two length. So it will return that you have two length starting from me, from from start from eight from. This particular index from it we can go two more length in any direction. It does not say but it say from me from uh, this particular element we can go two more length. Okay, now it will return two. I am changing the color so that it will be more clarifying. So okay, purple color is okay. Now from seven we say the maximum length we can go is two. So seven will say including me I can go two plus one. But that is that is three. Means including me, including me, the maximum length you can traverse is three in any direction. But maximum length from me starting starting with seven is three. Okay, it will return it will return three. Now six will say after six I have three more element to go. So six will say including me, including me, I have three plus one that is four element to traverse. So it will return four. So from here we will return four. So from six we will return four. Means from six we can go. Starting including six, we have four element. Including six, we have four element. Okay, four is including in six length as well. Uh, six is also including in this four length. Okay, means from six to seven to eight to nine. Okay, this is the length. Now, okay, now this is completed. Now these two paths are completed. One is one, one is four. So find that. Now we will come at eight. Now we will check eight in this array. Eight is this. So we will check yes, DP is already exist. Two. So from here we will just return two. We will not check either way. So from three it will return maximum of these two means one, four, and two. Means three have three so it is one, four, and two. Means after three we have uh, after three we have three different path. One is of length one, one is of length four, one is of length two. Now watch it. Path of length one is uh, from three we can go to five. Path of length two. Path of length two is from 3 we can go to 8 and 9 now path of length 4 is from 3 we can go to 6 7 8 9 okay so we will choose we will choose path of length 4 and 3 will return including me including me the maximum length you can traverse is the maximum length including 3 you can traverse is maximum of my forward length means means 4 plus 1 4 plus 1 means 5 so 3 I will update 3 index as 5 means including 3 we have 5 more length and now 2 will also update means 2 also have two, 2 choices now this 2 and uh, this 2 have 2 choices 1 and 5 means 1 and 5 ok uh, sorry sorry guys from this 2 we cannot go to 5 we will go to 9 we will go to 9 ok this we will go to 9 ok so we will not update it as well we will update it okay so th this is minus one as of now as well this is minus one as of now okay so this is nine so what two will say i have two choice either i go to this or either i can traverse this of length five so it will say i will choose length five and so including two including two i can traverse length of five plus one that is six so i will update this as well Okay, now from one. Now we go to five. Now we go to this five. Now from five, it does not have any choice. Means we have length of zero. We cannot go to three. We cannot go to four, and we cannot go uh, here or there. Okay, uh, on one or left side element does not exist. So from five, we have length zero. So including five, we have zero plus one. Means length one. Including five, we have length one. So these six uh, one have two choices. Either choose a path of length six, or either choose a path of length one. So one will return. 6 plus 1 means uh, including me I have length of 7 path I have length of 7 ok now it is 7 and we have taken a variable answer and updated as 7 ok now I will not update my answer to these all variables why because I already updated it with 7 means means 
I have stored the maximum of these all path because my this answer I got from all the updated path. Okay, or you can check on DP as well. Means our answer is always the updated the maximum answer. Now we go to three. We say our DP is already initialized. We will not check now for nine three five three eight same. Now for four we come at four. Now we come at four here. Okay. Now for this particular element. Now for four. From four we have two choices five. And six. So from six, it will return four. Means including me, you have four length. Now five will return one. Five will return one. So four out two choices, one and four. Four will choose four, and say from me you can have four plus one. That is five length. That is length of five. So answer will say seven and five maximum is seven. So answer will remain seven. Okay. So this is and we'll check for six. Already updated. Uh, our DPR already updated means it is not minus one. For seven, it is already three. Means updated, not minus one. So this is how we will reverse. From one we go to two, five. Then from two we go to nine. From two, from uh, we go to three. Then five, six, eight. From six we go to seven. Then eight. Then nine. From nine we cannot go anywhere. So we have a length of path zero. Then including nine we have length one. Including eight length two. Similarly we will update check the maximum from all the path. So okay. So this is how we will get our answer at seven. So the answer will maximum of these or that. This DP will store the maximum. Length of a path starting from ith comma jth index, which it can move forward in a strictly increasing manner. Okay, so guys, now look at that. Look at the code. So first of all, we are initialize this to dx and dy vector means 0 comma 1. Dx 0 means change in a direction. 0 comma 1 means up uh, means down. 0 comma minus 1 uh, means uh, right, left, up, down. Okay. Okay, guys. So and I how n is equal to d dot g dot size means the total number of rows and total number of columns okay th these are the boundaries or size of my g now i take a dp in slice of side and comment in slice with minus 1 now i will take answer as 0 now i will run for a each particular ith comma jth block i is equal to 0 to j is equal to 0 and dp if my dp ij is equal to minus 1 i will update my answer to answer is equal to maximum of my answer and So i comma j n comma m g comma d t. These six argument I am passing my current index, my final index, my size, my given matrix, and my dp. Okay, my dp vector. So now this is a solved function in i j n m vector g and dp. Now, if my vector, if my dp i j is not is equal to minus one, means it has already contain value. I have already solved for this particular index. I just return simply return and dp i j. Else why I will took a variable current. My current what current will store like it will store maximum of one two and four four each of the particular path. Now for zero two less than four means all the four possible direction all the four possible direction I took two new variable x and y update x with i plus d x k i plus d x k and j plus d y k so uh, x comma y is my new updated variable I will check if this if these variables uh, if this i th comma j th block is valid or not. Now x y n comma m. Now if my i should be greater than is equal to zero and i should be less than n, means it is inside our possible row number. And n j should be greater than is equal to zero and j should be less than n, means it is a valid row number. It is a valid column number. If these four conditions satisfy, I am written and here. Then it will return one. Else why? If any of these condition falls, it will return zero, means false. Okay. Now if we valid and my g x y means my updated. The my updated index or block contain the value greater than my previous i comma j is my previous. Okay, have the value greater than my previous index. Then I just update my current as current is equal to maximum of current comma sol. Now x comma y is my updated variable. N comma m, g comma d p is same. Now at last I will update my d p comma g as current plus one means current is this path. Like for it, current is this one. And update one because of eight. Now I now from eight I have path of length one means only nine. It will return one. Now when it return with eight, it will return two means eight will also include in this path. So I will return two. Okay means eight one element is eight and from eight we have length of one more path of one more length. Okay similarly for one four two after three after three we will say including three we have. Three path of length one four two in which I will choose four, and including my three I will return five means 
I will include three, and I have length of uh, I have length of uh, I have path of length four. Okay, from three I have length of path four. Uh, so I am okay. I I hope you understand what I want to say. From three I have a path of length four. So I will return five. Means we can choose three, and from three I have more. Four length path. Okay, this is how we will do it. And at last, I update my DPIJ one plus current. Okay, and at last, I just store my answer and update my answer and return my answer. At last, okay, this is how I am solving it. Correct answer it it is showing. I just now submit it. So guys, you can see all the 231 test cases pass out. Okay, guys. so i hope you all understand the approach you like the concept and if you have any doubt then just comment out i will try my best to explain you meanwhile you can subscribe the channel like the video and please comment out if you understand the approach for now you can you can share the video and please subscribe the channel thank you for watching this guys stay tuned